from pretty much anywhere in the world, everybody knows what that sound was without seeing that sound. That initial sound that you heard, if you don't know what it is, is a pump shotgun being racked. Now this isn't a gun video or about guns, but I kind of want to show you something based on my experience watching all these bushcrafty, preppers, bug out people, all documenting what they have on the internet. You'll see that I've laid out a small selection of my bushcraft knives or my fixed blade knives. Um, which I use often in bushcraft type stuff, wilderness survival training, that sort of thing. You will notice nearly every one of them has a leather sheath. And let me show you why, because I'm building out a new kit and I just got another Topps Bob knife. So let me show you something. Let's see if this makes sense. And I'll tell you why I'm bringing this up here in a minute. So, you hear that? It has a very distinct sound. Another Topps Bob that's in a leather sheath. Listen. So now you know why every knife that I own gets put into a leather sheath. Now, this leather sheath is actually made by Topps. They have it in uh, black. They also have it in brown. So it comes with no knife. And I'm going to move this over to the side. By the way, let me show you the actual sheath that that Topps knife come in. So this is the sheath that that tops knife come in that was in the leather sheath and you can see I've taken I don't know how much of that's actually on the screen but you kind of get what I'm talking about right they're super noisy where any of these knives that are in leather sheaths don't matter. This in here is going to make noise because you got to flip it up first. But it still ain't near as bad. This is actually a Moore Garberg. This is another Moore Garberg that I have in one of those tops sheaths. Listen. This is a condor. <laughs> this is a, a TBS Grizzly. Now, it's got a snap here on the side, so you'll hear the snap. Let me not talk over that when I do it. So, the thing about the Topps Leather Sheath, I don't remember what they cost, but you can get them on Amazon if you just search for Topps Leather Sheath. It fits every bushcraft knife that I own, except for it doesn't fit this TBS Grizzly. It'll almost fit it. Like, like the knife will go in all the way up to the handle. 
and you could probably wet that leather and form fit it to that knife but that knife is way thicker than say um, more Garberg <laughs> and that's part of it and not only that the blade is so much wider the handle itself is thicker really this TBS Grizzly is probably my all-time favorite knife that I own like there's literally nothing it won't do and you never have to worry about breaking it because this blade is so thick but Probably, I only own one of the TBS Grizzlies with me living in the States. It's, you know, a little harder to get over here because it's got to be shipped across the big pond. Whereas, I can go to Amazon, I can have a, a Topps Bob in two or three days. So, this is probably my favorite knife. I just, and I own multiples of this one. Uh, let's just say that, uh, I, I don't even want to say how many I own. Um, but every one of them I put in a tops leather sheath just because they don't make as much noise Taking it out putting it in So the reason why I bring that up It's been a few years ago and I was camping uh, somewhere in the Daniel Boone National Park. I don't remember where exactly I was camping. But I was kind of up on a hillside and at a really nice camp spot. And maybe a mile, maybe a mile, mile and a half away, straight line sight, I could see, well, so... When I got to the campsite, it was daylight. And I don't start campfires most of the time when I'm doing long distance hiking. But um, I was at this campsite and I got there like an hour or two before the sun went down. And I kept smelling fire. I was like, there must be another campsite close by. Well, as the sun started to go down, then I could actually physically see the fire a mile and a half away or so, give or take. And all night long, I could listen to their conversations they were having. I could tell what kind of knives they were carrying, or at least I could tell what kind of sheaths they were in. And they were also using a zippered tent. They were at least a mile and a half away. I could hear all that stuff plain as day. Sound carries for forever. And the sign of a fire carries for forever. So what I'm getting at is when I watch these people talking about being tactical, tactical, you know, bushcrafters, not so much. Let's face it, bushcrafters, they go out in the woods. They hone out their wilderness survival skills. But if you're a prepper and you got your knife talking about how you're going to get to your bug out bag or how you're going to take your bug out bag with your knife and leave the city and when the zombies attack and <laughs> you're you're going to die within two or three days because someone's going to hear you or see you and they're going to kill you and take your stuff I mean that's worst case scenario could be a whole lot worse though I started to make a joke and I thought, uh, probably better not on YouTube. Um, but what I'm getting at is leather sheaths, way more cool and tactical. They make no sound. That would probably travel a mile and a half.
I can get right down the line. None of them are noisy. That one, the snap. If it wasn't for that snap, the Garberg sheath would be, eh, I don't really don't like it because it's not a dangler. Yeah, I know you can get like a dangler clip for it to make it a dangler, but more should have made one dangler to begin with. Kind of the same way with this. I love this knife. The sheath looks cool. I hate the dang sheath, even though it's got a DC4 stone, fire steel, the knife is secured in there, you can carry it vertical or horizontal, it can do either carry, it's not a dangler, I really like danglers, which is why I have so many of these top sheaths, <laughs> so many of them it's not funny, I mean there's two right here, one's got a uh, more Garberg in it, the other one's got a top knife in it. But actually, I've got another one for this knife because I can't stand these sheets. They're too noisy. Almost sounds like a 12-gauge shotgun. That's all I wanted to talk about. Also, as always, God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads.